Hi, Thornley Hawks Ladies Softball Club. Um, doing a, a video for Renee Modra, just some exercises. I'm the owner of Peak Performance Personal Training Perth, Peak Training on Facebook. Um, basically, just going to go through some exercises uh, for you guys. Um, pretty basic ones. I like to go back to basics, old school exercises, so they're not hard. They're things you can do at home. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to DM me at Peak Training on Facebook or Natasha Peak. So um, it's been a while since I played softball. Actually, I was just thinking about it. It was back in 98, 99, 2000, so it's over 20 years ago. As you can see, I've got the old softball uniform on, number 28. Um, a lot of you won't even know this uniform and um, yeah, had to pull it out. So I've still got it and I've still got the old jacket and actually the old hat, I'll just show you. The old, the old jacket, which none of you have probably seen for a while with my name on it. And look how colourful my hat is. <laughs> so I'm not going to wear that hat. Um, it's real crappy at the moment. So I've just got my tower hat on at the moment. So yeah, there you go, guys. So 20 years old, the uniform still looks brand new. So and so does the jacket. So yeah. All right. So we're going to start with a lunge. A um, little bit of a different lunge. So for you guys, because you've got softball bats, most of you, so we're going to use a softball bat. So how we're going to do this? Um, obviously. It's quite easy and because I can't move the camera around because Renee should be here videoing it with me, what you're going to do is you're going to put the bat above your head, right? And everybody, if you're not sure, to do a lunge, you stand forward, put your knee down, okay, and you walk. But what I want you to do is to hold your bat at the same time. It'll help with your balance and pull it apart at the same time. Set forward, all right, Ooh, nearly fell over, and do another lunge, okay? Only do them forward, you can do them reverse if you want, depends what's easier for you. But if you do about eight of those forward, and if you can do eight back a couple of times a day, that'll help you with that one. So that's just a basic, I call it a bar lunge, I usually do it with a resistance band. So when I, when I say pull apart, pull that bar apart like you're trying to rip it apart, so you're also working your upper body as well, okay? So that's an easy one. Um, the next one we'll do a goblet squat and everyone knows a normal squat, well I'm sure if you don't, a normal squat just looks like this guys. So this is how I do them, you stick your bum out, there's a hip hinge there, squat is like this, so you're sticking your bum out, pulling it out and you're squatting, okay. You come up and you're squeezing your buttocks in, okay, so that's a normal squat. For a goblet, we're going to pretend, so you've all got a glove as well. So the glove looks like that. We're going to pretend that that's what we're doing with a squat. So our legs are going out further. So we're going to put our legs out further. So put the glove down. What we want to do is come out further. Put your elbows against your knees, your thighs there. And push against them and hold it. That's a goblet squat. And you'll really feel inside your thighs here. Okay. Inside your hamstrings, everywhere else if you're tight. Come up, squeeze your bum, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you can do at least 12 of those, if you can't do 12, do eight, just do what you can do. That's a goblet squat. So just remember, look at your glove, that's the way you want your feet. Like that, guys, okay? Next one we will do, um, pull apart with the back, which I pretty much showed you. So I'll just sit down a bit so you can see. So anyone, you can do this before again, just stretch, pull your bat apart, swear to God, and if you pull it apart nice and hard, like you're trying to rip the bat apart, so you're pulling that way, and you're pulling that way, okay, it gives a good stretch, really put your head up nice and straight, pull, it stretches your lats, you can twist, just like normal twists guys, really stretches out, pulls out any tightness in your lats, lats are these bits here guys, alright, Pulling it back more if you can. Also, if you can, it's a bit short for me, but get it behind your back. Anything, pull it up and down. Lots of things with your back, guys. Use it, all right? So that's just with your back, all right? Just pulling it apart. Pull it apart so hard to the point that your arms start to shake, all right? It's amazing what that can do for you, okay? So that's a back pull apart. Next one basic quad, uh, quad stretch, so this is your quads are here guys, 
all right? So you're using, in softball, you're using every part of your body, okay? Most of it's your major muscle groups, all right? We're moving off quickly to run, we're using our arms, we're using, you know, catching the ball, throwing the ball, hitting the bat, running, everything, okay? Squatting, everything, so it's full body. So, basically all your major muscle groups you wanna work, all right? So the next one I just want you to do is just a quad stretch. So you're standing, okay? Bring your foot up, if you can, lean on someone if you have to balance. When you do a quad stretch, guys, bring your leg up, nice and straight, straight back, squeeze your bum in. Don't fall over like I just did. Squeeze your bum in, pull your toes towards your bum. Pull them towards your bum. You'll feel a nice stretch in your quads there. That's how you do a quad stretch. You don't just go like this. Yep, done. Yep, done. Does nothing. Waste of time, end up with an injury, probably pull a muscle. Pull it back, pull your toes, you'll probably get a nice stretch and you're all good. Another thing to do, do never, don't ever do this, no matter who tells you to do that. Very glad you'll pull a muscle in your calf, stretch like that, point your toes. Point your toes, really push out, push out, point your toes, okay guys? Um, another good one, if you've got two bats, So a good balance one too. Have your bats like this, okay? Depends, I haven't tried this yet, so we'll just give it a go, because I've got proper sticks. Just do this, straight out, straight up. Oh, it's good for your balance. Go back the other way, all right? Check your balance out. Really get some motion in your hips, so you're opening up your hips in here. Okay, do the other leg, back. Go back the other way, all right? Move it in, go closer if it's too hard. Move it out if it's too easy, okay? Opens up those hips, your groin, okay? Really, really good one, easy to do. All right, easy exercises, guys, at home. Um, chest and arms pull apart, we did that. 90, easy one, another easy one. Just pull your arms out, do it on the side. Basically, probably easier this way. So we, what we want straight, we want our body tall, nice and tall, head up like we're pulling it up, pulling a rope from our head, nice and tall, squeeze your bum, right? Arms out like this, okay? All we're doing, shoulder width apart, feet, sorry. Sorry, actually this one's 90 degrees stretch. So basically just turning, holding, this is good for your back, guys. Holding for 90, coming back around, holding for 90. So it really stretches lower back, guys. And do that about eight times. Now your lower back, you're down like this, your lower back is getting moved a lot on one side, okay? So we really wanna focus definitely on the other side, same with your batting arms. All right, so you wanna equal out the sides that you're not using, the sides you are using as well. So we're using both, both arms, back, same thing. We're stretching both areas, all right? So we're not just doing one side because it's sore, got to do the other side as well. Okay, same with your head rolls, things like that, okay? Okay, another, oh, what else can we give you here? Down, back, pull apart. Um, I'm not sure, 10, 10, 10 is one that I used to do quite a fair bit. Um, call it 10, 10, 10 because it's 10 exercises, uh, sorry. Uh, 10 exercises, uh, 10, <laughs> God. So you go 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 planks for 10 seconds, all right? Or 10 times. So basically, you don't, or 10 star jumps, 10. So you've done 10, and you get down, and you've got to do it every hour on the hour, okay? And then you're going 10 sit-ups, okay? Now, if you can't do a sit-up, another good key, a lot of people can't do a crunch, but if you can't do a sit up, grab your mitt maybe, put it in between your feet. <coughs> okay, put your feet against it, so it's like someone's holding your toes. And just use it, so this is the point where people get stuck. So pretend that there's, oh, I've got a cord there and I'm pulling you up. So what you're doing when you're doing a sit up, you need to use your abs, nothing else. You're not using your neck. So as I come up here, I should be able to move my neck because I'm not using it, all right? So it's coming up here, I'm using my abs to get me up, see? Nothing else, okay? 
So that's what you do. 10, 10, 10. There's 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups. Just pick three exercises, do 10 of them, all right? And if you can do that every hour and hour, you'll be surprised how fit you'll end up. Um, uh, just go through a few more things. So basically, if I'm standing, just simple things in exercises. So you've got your quads, your glutes, your bum, all right? Your calves, your major muscle groups, retraction. So let's just go through that for a second. So protraction, if you have a look at me, all right? It's bringing your shoulders forward, rounded forward, like a rounded back. So if you have any issues doing that, then there's issues, something's wrong there, all right? If that hurts, something's wrong, okay? So retraction's bringing them back, sticking your boobs out, okay? So what that's doing is bringing, pretending you're bringing your two shoulder blades together at the back, all right? So we're retracting. So when we do things like weights and stuff, we're bringing the shoulder blades back, back pretending we're pushing them together, okay? Um, so basically, then you got the, um, so what did we do? Protraction, retraction. So then we got uh, depression. So that's basically dropping your shoulders down. So that's down, depression. Okay. And then we got elevation, shoulders up. So if anywhere like that hurts, you may need to just give it a little bit more work. Okay. So um, really, uh, I focus a lot on mobility, so basically that's um, you know all your joints or single joint movement. So basically all your daily activities, everything you do is mobility. You're using mobility, okay? When we start talking about strength, it's talking about how much force a muscle and joint, um, uh, how can we put it, a muscle and joint are able to produce and maintain and receive, all right? So um, if we're activating muscles it's how much we can use and receive okay so strength is um different to mobility so you know you get strength and conditioning coach um i i into all of it obviously um mobi mobility and flexibility and rehab is my major areas and in strength training obviously for myself because i've had to go through all of that myself but yeah so when we're talking strength it's how much force basically then a muscle and, and a joint are able to um, produce so just so you know that sort of thing and then isolation is another one so isolation if people talk about that so that's if you're doing like you know when you do a plank you're isolating so out of your whole body it's not a full body movement you're actually isolating your core your belly muscles all right so if you're sitting there you're doing your plank all right and you're squeezing your bum in and you're isolating you're really squeezing your core muscles so you're squeezing those abs pretending belly to bum bum to belly so you're actually isolating just that area and you should be pushing so tightly that that's the only area you're working so you're isolating that area okay guys um what else can we tell you i think that'll do for today uh i'm not sure if Renee wants me to do any more but um yeah, look, guys, if you want any questions, anything I can help you with, not a problem at all. I'm actually thinking about joining softball this year, so we'll see how we go. I have got one uh, three-quarter blind eye left eye, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to hit the ball, but we've got to give it a go. So I miss my sport, so, and um, I'd like to get a new uniform. So good luck, guys. Have fun. Any questions, come speak to me. See you. Bye.